like, you know, like, even before I played guitar, I knew who he was. And so, uh, you know, that's the guy that I wanted to, to be like, you know. And I hadn't even heard him. <laughs> he was like a legend. And then finally, uh, you know, I went and auditioned for Tara when I was like 16 years old. And I think it was around that time when I met Brian. And uh, he was just like so the opposite of what I expected from a rock star. You know, just like just a real down-to-earth guy. Very, you know, like everybody said, you're just a really nice guy to, to hang out with. And, and uh, you know, we kept in touch over the years. I actually got to play in a band with him at Rafters when I was... You know, a kid, and to me that was like I made it because I was playing with my heroes, you know, and and so uh, um, it, you know Brian was was kind of one of those first people that I, I met. Went, wow, this this guy's the real deal. This guy's the real deal, you know, and, and uh, he uh, I just always thought was one of the most talented uh, people I've ever met, and I can see that it's passed on down to his niece now, uh, and that's that's beautiful. He's, he's influenced her, um, and that kind of is what it's all about, what you leave behind. So last night, yeah, I was going through and I was trying to figure out, oh, what should I play? You know, what should I play? <laughs> yeah, I just played my stepfather's funeral last Saturday, so this is kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Do two funerals in a row, but, um, you know, I, I, I was sitting there and I was like, you know, Brian say, write something, like make something up, you know? So I, I just decided to have an imaginary conversation with Brian because I've got a text from him a couple of weeks ago, he was really, really upset about the Connecticut, shoot, Connecticut shootings, and that was the last text I got from him, you know, and I was going to get back to him, you know, I was busy, I was dealing with all this other stuff with my stepfather, and I didn't get back with him, and so this, and then I, then I found this out, and it was just blown away, he was, he was coming out to my gigs, and he would come out to every show that he could of mine, and he, since these, you know, last few years, we, we got tight, you know, and, and uh, so, yeah, I just tried to imagine this this conversation that I might have had with him had I talked to him one more time. Um, no, nobody's heard the song. I wrote it last night, <laughs> and I kind of imagined. You know, I kept Brian, and I actually had Parrish in my mind too, because I knew that those guys two were two musical driving forces, and and they were brothers. You know, and, and I know how much he miss, missed Parrish. He really missed Parrish a lot. He talked about him a lot. So. When I wrote this, I thought thought about the kind of music and, and stuff that kind of got us all started. So anyway, um, if I can remember the words. I got 
out somewhere I can't stay